Ko Nichiwa, I mean, this is Security. You're watching Pokecast. Today's Disney Infinity 3 kitter we're gonna looking at is one of those that is a must have, especially for the Star Wars. And that is Obi Wan Kenobi. Right there's the front of it. Here's the back. Quick look at that. Let's see what you have to say about Obi Wan. Jedi Master with false powers dedicated to defending the galaxy. But if someone as awesome as he is, I'm um, giving such a description like that, it's like, um, right. You didn't even try. <laughs> Something I've come to notice that it's going to be the in-game uh, thing that they say, which are actually the ones they did try. Because nobody really keeps the box, so make it stupid, but the one in the in-game, since everybody can go back and see it as many times as they want, make that one totally worth it. So well, here's his card. Looks awesome. Man, his is, is not... There it goes. Alright. Wow. His is actually really well done. A lot of detail went into making him. I've noticed that a lot of the um, uh, Clone War characters have some of the best detail on him, and he's no exception. That is a really nice one. So, he's really, he's, he's actually a little bit larger than you'd think. But yeah, that's uh, what he looks like right there. This is going to be fun to see exactly what he's like as a level 1 character because, you know, after experimenting with all of them, Anakin's on this, so far the only one that's really not as good as he can be. The other ones have looked pretty good. So this is going to be fun to see how he, uh, how he's going to be in the game. So without further ado, let's check out what it's like in Disney Infinity 3, the PS4 edition, um, as a level 1 character. Alright, let's head on over there. All right, without further ado, here is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I have to say that was hilarious. Seeing him, his lightsaber come in first, then him. Let's take a look. And he has some really good detail on him. And his lightsaber looks nice. So that's actually a really nice one to be looking at. All right. So he has a push ability first. His jumping animation. Really nice defense. Not too bad. I actually like how well he looks when he's attacking. And then... Just the common uh, Jedi thing. That's actually quite nice. That comes very handy in the game. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look of his skill tree. Okay, definitely some good things to go over here, in my opinion, getting at least his block up. Uh, let's see. Relax increases, okay. I don't know, there's not a whole lot of good things for his force ability. Huh. Interesting. Then, of course, attack. Well, it's one of those that you have to really get up because the lightsaber is what saves your butt when you're playing as a Jedi in the game. Then we have his dash abilities. This is going to be the one talent uh, tree you want to get up because it will also be very helpful to get a lot of things down. I stand corrected. Even his in-game one is cheesy. Legendary Jedi Master who served as a general in the Clone Wars. And we are so lazy we won't add anything else because you already know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is. Thus, we will not add any more in to inform you of something great about him. Anyway, Super Jump, Force, and Lightsaber Master. 
I have to say, I'm a little disappointed that he doesn't have more, but considering that it'll be fun upgrading him to see if he's as good as the other Jedi in the game, which without doubt he will. Would you stop turning around when I'm moving the camera? Thank you. Jeez. Um, it's going to be great just to be able to play with, you know, play with him as a character and see where we can take him. So hope this has helped you guys um, decide if Obi-Wan Kenobi is worth getting. Without a doubt, he is a must-have, but still, you know, always helps out. So hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara.